Visit Lex has done the groundwork to put Lexington on the map as a tourist destination. It is no secret 2020 has been tough, especially on downtown businesses who rely on tourists. The Lexington Tourist Agency is reporting that they are trying to push Kentuckians to explore our own backyards while also pushing for a federal relief package for the hospitality and tourism industry. LAX 18's Jacqueline Nye has, the, has more on this in the Rebound Kentucky. For a hotel and event space like the castle, the holidays are normally a busy season. I would say normally we have roughly, you know, five to 7,000 people coming through. We do lots of Christmas tours. We have brunch with Santa. Christy Eckerlein says overall about 20% of events at the castle have been canceled. Eckerlein says while the Kentucky castle has taken a hit financially, they are trying to keep as much of their staff working. Our staff is constantly concerned as to whether or not they're going to get the number of hours. And to go with that, are they going to get their paycheck? Are they going to be able to pay their rent, their mortgage, buy food? That's where our big concern is. Visit Lex, the city's tourism agency, says Lexington has lost over $100 million in room revenue since the start of the pandemic and an additional $5 million in the month of November. The agency president, Mary Quinn Raymer, says a federal relief package is the difference between life and death. So we've got tons of data from the National Restaurant Association, the American Hotel and Lodging Association, the attractions. We know that these next six months are critical um, for survival for these small businesses. In the meantime, the tourist agency is asking Kentuckians to shop local. In Lexington, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News.